So where have I been? What have I been up to? And what's a fast way to reset and grow healthier, longer hair? All of this coming up next. Hey, beautiful people, it's Melissa from Choosing My Health, and I teach you how to transition to a whole food plant-based lifestyle and thrive. And I have missed you all so much. So much has happened since my last video, and I wanna give you all a life update and share some exciting projects I've been working on just for you, including my new hair care line. So first, for the life update. 2023, like for all of us, had all the things, many highs and many lows, and it was filled with tons of transitions, one of the biggest being that my family moved, and then we moved again. So two times for a family of five, even if you have to move to the next room, like, you already know, it's a lot. Included in all of this is that we had to pack up our Choosing My Health setup, the kitchen set, our dishes, our lights, the props, and we were away from it for a long time. Something also happened during this transition that completely changed my life and was completely unprecedented. I lost my dad. When he passed, I remember feeling a pain and a loss that was unlike anything I can describe. The blessing in all of this is that he gave his life to Christ two days before he passed, something I knew he always wanted to do but struggled with. We were also friends, so he openly shared about his struggles, and I intimately knew the things that you know kept him from making the decision to go all in. And I'm so thankful that days before his last goodbye, he gave his all to the one who gave his all for him. I know I'm going to see him again. If you have a loved one, please cherish them, hold them, let them know you love them. But also, if there are any grudges, release yourself, be free. It's not worth it. My childhood was far from perfect. I'm so thankful God empowered me to love him freely in spite of it. I hope you also make the decision to love freely no matter what, because you'll never regret it. In the midst of all of this, God births silver linings. And I am so blessed to share that I've been working on some exciting projects. If you don't know my story, some years ago, I had a health scare that made me pivot the way I was doing life significantly. You can hear more about my story in my before and after vid. During this time, my hair was struggling bad, like big old patch in the back of my head bad, and my hair growth was significantly stunted. At this time, I didn't know that the condition of my hair was actually pointing to a greater issue, the condition of my health. What I later found through lots of research trial and error is that the health of your hair is often connected to the health of your body. And it wasn't until I got news from the doctor, I realized that all this time, my hair struggles were actually a sign of a major health issue. So I cried out to God for help and he gave me a proven method to restore my health and my hair. And it all began with the juice challenge. I've also had a lot of women during this time ask me if I could just help them through a healing process. Well, the wait is over because now I'm inviting you to join me on a transformative five day healthy hair juice challenge to restore your health and reset your hair growth. Sis, this is the challenge for you if you want to fast track healing for both your hair and your health. This was the game changer that took my hair and health to the next level. And I wish I knew then what I know now. Like I wish I had someone who showed me exactly what I needed to choose, who gave me the exact recipes I needed for my hair and who would just encourage me on the journey. And I have seen too many women struggle unnecessarily all because they did not have a hand to point them in the right direction. And in this challenge, I'm gonna be that hand and guide you. I'm talking about daily videos where we learn and pray together, which I think is critical because a lot of us have the head knowledge. I ain't gonna lie, but the heart is weak and we need God to just keep us going. A juice challenge shopping list, a daily meal plan with tailored recipes, which include more than just juices because we are combining this challenge with smoothie support and tailored food recipes for the beginning and end of the challenge. A five-day diary with essential habits for hair and body care, habits I attribute to my success, a list of products I use and love that help me juice the right way, a part of my lifestyle for over 10 years now, access to the private Choosing My Health Academy community, two bonuses including a top foods list for healthy hair and a raw food grocery guide for your hair journey, and more. Listen, if you want better hair and better health, this is for you. To learn more, just click the link in the description box or visit healthyhairjuicechallenge.com. I've been dreaming, like so dreaming of doing this with you, and I really hope you can join. Speaking of hair health, I also just launched my hair care line, Crested Door. 
This has been a long time coming. This coupled with the juice challenge, listen, you gonna get your hair breakthrough, okay? I'm excited because I finally get to share with you all that I've been doing for myself and for some family and friends for years. If I can tell you anything about this experience, it's that crafting hair products, especially for thinning, damaged hair takes work, but it's also filled with lots of love. It's about discovering what our hair craves, trying different things and making sure each product dives deep into our unique hair needs to birth life and grow. I'm launching two products, a scalp and hair strengthening oil for growth. We're talking about jojoba oil, pumpkin seed oil, moringa, avocado, rosemary, neem. This helped grow my hair and continues to, and I think you're really gonna love this. My second product is an herbal hair repair rinse. Basically, you use it like a hair tea. It's a potent blend of herbs to help boost scalp circulation and reduce excess shedding. It's like a 911 hair rescue solution. It has rosemary, burdock root, horsetail, cinnamon, and tons more. You can also use it as a spray to rehydrate your twist like I do, and then you can seal in the moisture with the scalp and hair strengthening oil. To grab these, visit crescador.com. I'll also post the link below. So at the beginning of the new year, I prayed over my Choosing My Health crew, which includes you, and I prayed specifically for you not to give up. Why? Because I felt that this year held so much promise, but that there was gonna be some moments of discouragement to throw you off course because God promised you something, but you didn't see the blessing happening at the time you wanted it to. I'm here to remind you that just because it hasn't happened does not mean that God has forgotten. He has heard you. If God said it, it's only a matter of time before you see it. So don't give up. Keep moving, keep showing up no matter how bleak it seems, keep eating right, and keep trusting God through the process. I want God to release his power over you in this community, and I wanna pray for you right now that your faith would not fail and that you would just trust his heart. Let's pray. God, I just wanna thank you for these few moments where we can just stop and just talk to you, Abba Father. I am asking you to release your power over the individual watching right now and the entire CMH crew. Father, you know that this year started with so many expectations, but a lot of us are already tired because we're like, God, I prayed and I sold and I fasted and I did whatever I needed to for you to show me a better way, but I still don't see it. Or God, you promised that you would bless me, but I didn't see the blessing when I thought it was gonna come. And God, I'm asking right now that you would release your power in a way that is tangible, that is mighty, that is palpable. Father, hold my sister, hold my brother, and give them the solution they need. I'm praying that the rest of 2024 would not just be sweet, but it would be sanctified. It would be holy. It would be pure, God. It would have the power that we have been praying for. Father, I pray that every demonic curse, every manifestation of the enemy in our life we cancel it in the name of Jesus, and I'm expecting great things. I see flourishing hair for individuals in the community. I see new cars for people in the community. I see a new homes for people in the community, Lord. I see restoration with family members for people in the community. I see new jobs for people in the community. Father, I'm asking you to release an overwhelming power on every single person watching, that there would be a glow, Father, on 2024. We thank you that it is done. Done in Jesus' name, amen. God is up to something really good. Hold on, it's on its way. I started the beginning of the year with so many expectations and the way it has unraveled is not like I expected. And there are many things that I wish that I was farther in that I feel like I've actually gone two steps backwards in. But when I think about it, you know, the word of God says that it's in our weakness, his strength is made perfect. God has allowed certain things to look weak so I cannot get the glory because when it happens and when God launches these things forward, I know indeed that it was him the whole time. God doesn't want you taking credit during this season. And it's especially in those places where you feel like, I don't know if God's going to come through, that he's going to do a big bang and you're going to realize that it was him all along. So keep trusting his heart for you. Trust that in your weakness in those weak spots in your life, his strength is made perfect. The best is yet to come.
Also, I need to celebrate an incredible milestone. We just reached 65,000 subs on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the depths of my heart. Your unwavering support means the world to me on this journey. It's a true honor to stand by your side, cheering you on and sharing in your success. My hope is to keep supporting you, helping you thrive, and celebrating many more milestones together in the future. And of course, if you have any questions on going plant-based, if you need inspiration, you know, some recipes, I'm your girl. Watch Commonly Asked Questions Vegans Get Every Day if you're still on the fence about this lifestyle and need some good facts to help you make a good decision. Please subscribe if you haven't. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.